Hi, I'm Sarah. My husband John, son Connor, myself, and our dog Bella are exploring Alberta with our RV, and we want to share our experiences with you. Our most recent trip saw us make our way to Sir Winston Churchill Provincial Park, which is located on an island in Lac La Biche. This is connected to the mainland by a really cool land bridge. The island has multiple sandy beaches and is covered by a beautiful 300-year-old forest. The park has 72 campsites nestled in a dense, lush green foliage, all with power hookups to keep your trailers, appliances, and air conditioning running smoothly. Some of the facilities on the island include a boat launch, fire pits, playgrounds, flush toilets, free showers, a store, and a dump station for your RV. There are many hiking and biking trails throughout the island which allow you to easily access everything it has to offer and is certainly worth exploring. We saw signs of beaver activity near one of the playgrounds and shortly thereafter we saw a beaver itself swimming right by us on the beach, no more than 15 feet away. Trust me, this video does not do it justice. It was truly amazing watching it swim so close to us. The park is renowned for its outstanding bird watching. On the beach and lake we saw pelicans and a number of different gulls as well as many smaller birds in the treat areas. We spent much of our days enjoying Camper's Beach, just a few minutes walk along the section of Old Growth Alley that runs behind the campsites. There is a roped off area for swimming and the view is fantastic. The water was cool, but it wasn't cold. Connor and his cousin Evan spent many hours happily playing on the beach and in the water and collected dozens of small snail and clam shells with just a little digging. Afterwards, we visited the island store for some ice cream to cool down and none of us left disappointed. They had about 20 unique flavors to choose from and our one scoop cones looked more like three and a half scoops. I would definitely recommend the key lime pie flavor and to bring your appetite. For this trip, we tried out our Camp Chef stove for the first time and it did a great job cooking our meals quickly and evenly. The stove is large, solidly built, very high quality and the sheer size of its cooking service makes it ideal for cooking meals for large groups. That evening, Connor's Aunt Nadia and Uncle Chris took the boys for a canoe ride after dinner, and even with a moderate wind that came up, they could easily paddle all over the lake and around the other smaller islands nearby. If you don't have a canoe, don't worry. You can rent canoes, kayaks, and paddle boards nearby. The park has many smaller connecting trails, but the real feature is the Old Growth Alley Trail that goes all around the island. We took our mountain bikes and set off to do the loop, but be warned, this is not for the faint of heart. There's some steep inclines, narrow paths, and exposed routes to ride over. Connor's nine years old and a good bike rider, and while he had a blast going on the biking adventure, he was definitely exhausted and ready to be done when we finally got back to camp. Also, the map does not always quite seem to match reality, so be prepared to backtrack as it's not always clear which way to go. It was great fun, but if it sounds like a little bit more of a challenge than you're looking for, you can always stick to the many roads that run through the campsite and stretch to some of the day use areas, or you can just approach the trails on foot. On our third day, we started with some delicious homemade Saskatoon pancakes that we cooked on the Camp Chef griddle. Just FYI, there was lots of wild Saskatoons growing along the trails, so we definitely stopped to snack a little bit. The wind and waves were gentle enough that we were able to crack out our inflatable stand-up paddle boards and give them a try. Pumping them up was debatably more exhausting than actually using them on the lake. Electric pumps will be in our future. But when they were finally pumped up, John and Chris took the boys for rides up and down the shore. Sand up paddle boards can feel a little squirrely at first, so if you haven't tried them before, just start on your knees, and when you get your balance, you'll be standing on your feet, gliding across the water. Sadly, after paddle boarding, it was time to pack up for home. Connor had happily helped with a quick dump at the two-lane dump station, and we were on our way back to Edmonton. Sir Winston Churchill Provincial Park was an amazing campground, and if you haven't seen it, you should definitely check it out. We'll certainly be back. Although, be aware, if you're interested in going, you'll want to reserve your campsite as soon as they open for summer. The reservations fill up fast. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you found it helpful, please like our video and subscribe to make sure you're notified every time we have a new adventure. Happy camping!